Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the set 40289 a Diagon Alley which is the micro scale one which came out in 2018 as a free promotional gift I believe it was in November of around that kind of time and I think it was spent over £85 and this has 374 pieces one minifigure being Ollivander he's the exclusive until tomorrow we will not officially know and if you're not aware tomorrow it will be getting Diagon Alley shall be getting revealed and today it is the 30th of August 2020 so yes we will find it out it's currently at um, 2.21 and yeah we will find it out tomorrow which I cannot wait there have been some leaks which that's all a bit of a confusing thing but don't worry guys I will cover it when it comes out without further ado let's take a look at this and then I've got some well, some interesting things to point out. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the So set. first up, we have Ollivander. And as you can see, he has his wand here, which... Do we even see his wand in the movie? I don't actually recollect ever seeing it, but he most probably did have one. As Well, if you are surrounded by wands, you mostly will have one, five, or a hundred of them. But yes, here you can see with the necktie there, which I think looks really good. Like, you've got the waistcoat, the necktie, the shirt, and then his overall jacket is like leather jacket design then here you can see his face printing which i think that looks really good like this minifigure is so well done and it will be such a shame if this is the same in the big one then because in this kind of defeats like the exclusive exclusive exclusivity of this set and there you can see his face and then he also has the um doc um emmett brown hairpiece from the back to the future lego dimensions pack and yes that is what he looks like then here is the back detailing which again i think that looks really cool he looks pretty scared there but i think that works really well for him because that would definitely ma marry up quite well to the scene in uh definitely Harry's part one where i believe he is um brutally uh murdered but yeah there is his figure i think it's called that wand piece as i've not I, I i forget if i've actually said this sorry but apologize if i have that one piece well all of them are such good pieces like i remember when they revealed it it's kind of like star wars they should make more customized but here it's good that they keep them all the same but they change them like the color just Perfect. I think that works really well. But yes, that is the Ollivander minifigure. And then here we have the actual street of it, which I think this looks really good. Just looking at the detail, we have Green Gots here on the left. Then we've got Ollivanders. Then we've got Florida and Bot Block. Blots. Then we've got uh, quality Quidditch supplies. Then we've got Wizard Weez Weezy Wizard Wheezes. Apologies. Wow, that is so much alliteration and tongue twisters there. But yeah, I'm reading it offside because I don't know them all off by heart yet, which, uh, yeah, that is that. But yep, yeah, here you can see. So first here we have the actual Gringotts, which I think this works so well. Like, looking at the detailing, it's great. Yes, there's a gap there, but like, hey, it's fine. They kind of have done the best that they can for that. Then there is a hole there, but I'm not too sure exactly why that is there but yes here you can see that which kind of it sort of looks like all the pillows in here is the glass dome that um a certain dragon does fly out of which is pretty awesome then moving on to olivander's shop here you can see with all the windows which i think does look pretty cool and then straightening that up here you can see the actual like display which i think looks really cool um yeah it's cool i get it's a bit weird that they use so many holy bricks like bricks with holes i could have just filled it in but um hey it's what they wanted to do maybe i'm missing something from the actual design and here you can see some like little bits down below i'm not sure if they're meant to be characters or oh, like just little bits of um stock so um yeah that's what that is and then here you can see the flourish and blots which i believe is that is the bookstore i want to say i really need to rewatch the movies i've only watched them like last year or the year before so but still um here you can see that it looks pretty cool with the sign then here you can see the qu uh, quality Quidditch supplies, which, wow, that um is such a tongue twister name. Here you can see like, the broom, which is technically the paint brush and paint, paint to brush. Sorry, wow, I keep getting tongue tied, tongue -tied here. Wow. Um, yeah, so here you can see that. And yeah, then here you got the um, alley to Nocturne alley, which I think that is a pretty good inclusion. There you can see that. Then you can also see the side of that which is pretty cool to see the side of the wizards the weasley wizard the weasley's wizard wheezes shop which i think is pretty cool then if we actually pull one of these off actually we'll do that in a second we'll take a look at this so here you can see this which um that is an interesting face print i'm not um i don't remember who that is but i don't think actually sorry that may be exclusive to this but then here you can see that side which looks really cool and yeah that is basically what the outside looks like but then yes there is an interior sort of so taking a look at the interior here you can see that i guess that'd be the entrance and then you can here you can see like the um 
some of the stalls and where the goblins would work, like Grip Hook and all of them, then that'd be the entrance and something like that. Then here you can see the uh, no interior, which looks really good. Yeah, no interior. But um, all jokes aside, I think it does still work really well. You can see the, um, the pole coming through. Here's the entrance to Nocturne Alley, which I think also is pretty cool. And if we quickly straighten these pieces, which as you can see, um, yeah, that is that. That is one thing I want to say. It was a bit of a thing, just trying to make sure they're all perfectly straightened. And wow, I have made it so much worse. That is really helpful. But um, well, that is sort of that. There, you can see that. And then if I take a look here, here you can see the shop, which. Yeah, I think that looks really good. It is by far the best interior. There's no stairs, a shame, which is a shame, but hey, that is fine. I guess they could have, like, reworked this. You probably could, but um, I would like to keep it as it is. And yeah, that is it, really. Well, um, that's neat. I will have to fix that. But um, yeah, they used to say, got these pieces in orange, quite a lot of um, ol um lavender colour, which is quite cool. And um, yeah, that is Diagon Alley, which I think is such a good... Um, so set. then here it is, Diagon Alley, which, wow, this looks really awesome. An interesting thought is that we got this in 2018, 2020. We got the... Um, at, well, we're getting a version of this, which is basically similar. If you like, cover that up, that's basically it, plus a few more, which is really awesome. But then... I reckon, again, I know lots of people said this, that'll be like the £90, $100, $100 Euro set for next year. That is what I think it'll be for, like, the big set, and it'll come with the dragon, and, um, yeah, I guess it'll come with, like, the disguised, um, figures. Yeah, I think so. But then, yeah, so that's what I think about, and then, I know this was floating about a few months ago. There was a rumour of potentially getting a Hogsmeade one this year, which, if that does come true, that may end up being maybe... Because Harry Potter had two D2C sets, 2018, 2020. So then, and the 2020 one was foreshadowed by a 2018 set. So potentially in 2022, we will see a um, Hogsmeade and 20, um, like Village big set. And then this, then obviously this year, if we do get that. But hey, we're not, I don't know about that. But yeah, that is the Diagon Alley. I think this is such... A good set, like looking at it, the micro scale. If you've got this brand new, honestly, it's insane, but it's like worth eighty pounds, and you had to spend eighty five over the time, and it was near Christmas, so it was a lot more doable. But hey, it's still, um, yeah, it's still really valuable, and I think even if Ollivander is an exclusive, I feel like it's gonna go higher because this is gonna look amazing in front of Diagon Alley, like having like the big version of that, and then just like that's where I'd put it, like in conjunction to like oh no, maybe in the middle. But yeah, that would look really awesome. So yeah, this is a really good set. I definitely do like it. It is such a good free, but I remember seeing it like. Oh my days, that is good because I think there's a shop. It's out, like some they accidentally put it on sale because um it says like it's va estimated at this value and I guess some person was mostly like oh that is how much it is but um, yeah they they kind of missed the whole free promotional part. And then, yeah, there you can see that. So, yeah, that is Diagon Alley. I've always really liked this freebie. I think it is definitely one of my favourite freebies. Like, thinking of all the freebies we've had. This and the Batmobile. They've both been really good freebies. But, yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I've rambled and spoke so much. So, thank you for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Bye for now.